In this video, we're going to show you how you can access specific pages of a starter template right within your WordPress dashboard. Now we're going to be looking at pulling in one of these free starter templates. There's about 80 different starter templates that you can get from the starter template plugin. And we're gonna make sure on our test site here, Sally's Cat Blog, that we have that starter template plugin installed. We do not. So we are going to go get that and we're just gonna do cadence starter and that should pull it right up. There's starter templates by Cadence WP. We are going to install that here and we are going to activate it. Now that we have that plugin installed, we can go to any page. We're gonna start a new page and we want to be able to pull in just a single page from a starter template because we wanna keep the look and feel of our site and not have everything wiped out, but we want to pull in some elements from one of those starter templates. So here's what you need to do. If you go over to these three dots here, you will see something that says Cadence Blocks Controls. If we click on that, we go to Block Visibility, and down here you can see there is one for the Design Library. If we click on that, we see that we can control individual settings and groups for the Design Libraries. So we have all users set up for the Design Library and the Cadence Library, but we have Show Starter Packs Library for no users. So let's see, we would want it Let's just say we want it for admins only. We can save that. Now, when we go into our design library, we can click on starter packs here and it will pull in all of those various starter packs for us. There's just so many of them. You can see that some of them are pro. So if you do not have Cadence Theme Pro and Cadence Blocks Pro installed, you wouldn't be able to access any of those. But let's see if there's a nice free one we can use. How about this nice influencer one? I'm sure there is an awesome page in here that we could use. And let's say we want to pull in this about page and we want to create this page exactly. We can just click on that the starter template plugin will actually prepare the content and pull it in. Now what you'll notice is that the fonts and the colorization for this particular page are going to be inheriting from my site the way I have things set up. It's not going to inherit from that influencer starter template. It's going to inherit from my site. In this way, I am pulling content from a starter template that then is made specific for my site and isn't overriding my customized or settings. So that is how you get a single page from one of the starter templates into your site.